Uganda proposes new legislation to ban homosexuality. In a shocking move, Uganda is seeking to pass new legislation to further criminalize homosexuality, endangering the lives of the LGBT community new members. This new quote unquote anti homosexuality bill proposes harsh punishments for anyone accused of being gay, lesbian, transgender, queer, or identifying with any gender that doesn't conform to binary categories of male and female. The bill is so broad that it could lead to businesses and venues that support LGBT activities being shut down and their managers detained for up to two years. Even providing shelter to an LGBT person could lead to imprisonment. With homosexuality already illegal in Uganda, this new bill would only increase harassment and discrimination against a community that is already incredibly vulnerable. So this is particularly important because a few, about 10 years ago, Uganda proposed the death penalty for being homosexual. And it was in part due to lobbying on behalf of the Obama administration globally to pressure Uganda to not do this, that that bill died. And now they are coming back again with it's just the anti-homosexuality bill. It says any, the bill would punish anyone guilty of promoting homosexuality with five years of jail time or $27,000 fine or both. The bill's definition of promoting is expansive. It includes mentioning LGBT topics online or supporting any LGBT fundraising or cause. And then- Wow. One media also reported that the bill would punish anyone who provides shelter to an LGBT member as a brothel or any place where any LGBT related activities take place with punishment of up to seven years of imprisonment. Jesus Christ, man. What is put what is motivating them to push this hard against LGBT? Is there like a fear? Actually, this is very interesting. So I wasn't expecting to get into this, but since you asked. So Uganda used to be a British protectorate. And so the Anglican church still has heavy influence in Uganda. And there is a major schism happening in, in the Anglican church to the point that I genuinely wonder if it will remain a single church much longer. That's how, like, we're we're talking like a historical schism in the church here because what's happening is in England and in the quote unquote Western world where Anglicanism is losing followers faster than they can even blink. Right. They are seen as very unpopular because they're backwards and conservatives and they refuse to get on board with LGBT acceptance. Right. So in their home, in their homeland, they are bordering on irrelevant because England is now a Christian majority, minority. England is now a Christian minority nation, England and Wales. Contrast that with where the Anglican church has power in the rest of the world. A lot of it is in Africa. And they feel very differently about the LGBT issue. So there are people on the English side of things in the Catholic church excuse me, Anglican church, trying to liberalize. And the African, uh, I don't think they will call them diocese because it's not Catholic, but the, the African branches are fighting back hard. It's causing a huge um, reaction, huge reaction out of the African Anglicans. They're, they're straight up not going to tolerate it. They just won't tolerate it. And I think this is partly influenced by the schism that's happening in the Anglican church right now. Mm. It's become such well, a, it's become a, such a central issue that it could fracture the entire church. Well, there's an alternative theory. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Juno, oh my god 
He's saying, thank you for the super chat, Jonathan. He's saying the motivation is very clear on the jump. They clearly want to prevent future earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> it might backfire. Either. It might get the wrath of the LGBT. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thank yeah. you so much, Danish, for the super chat. That was <laughs> that's a good one. Um, oh, Katie has a good comment. Uh, Katie is saying, so basically they can be criminal if one of them decides to give me some mental support during my depressive phases. Basically. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Like, it's so bad that if you knowingly, like, let an LGBT person stay at your house, you could be accused of running a brothel it's it's so overarching it's so broad it's it's very very alarming it's very alarming and it's receiving a lot of support right now from the politicians based on the reporting that i have read so i'm going to keep my eyes on this because i am concerned that this could actually really go in a bad direction Okay. Well, thank you so much for bringing this to our attention because not yeah. that many people are talking about this. And get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.